Good morning, everyone. It's another video where the bugs are <laughs> going to be in the background the whole time. Today has already been a day. Um, I took the subway over here. We are in Sachon again, one of my favorite neighborhoods. On the subway here, I had a grandpa um, sit on me. He just had bad aim when he was going down for the, uh, the seat. <laughs> Um, and then I met a really cool subscriber who is running around here. So we're gonna head to, first up, Data Museum. They have a new exhibit going on that I don't know anything about, really. I think it's photography. So I'm going there, and then the main reason I'm over here is because there is this, like, book room in the mountain. I don't know. Um, there's, like, this up in one of those mountains up in the distance. Um, in the middle of the forest, there is a place where you can chill and read books, and that sounds right up my alley. So um, we're gonna do that as well, and um, then we're gonna get coffee, chill. I'm excited for today. See you then. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? They moved to Soul Soup? Oh, I'm so dumb. I have no words. Oh my god, I can't believe it moved all the way to Soul Soup. I feel like I knew that. I actually feel like I put that in one of my vlogs once. And I forgot. So, um, I came very early, like before my next place was even open. So, we're gonna hit a different place, get some iced tea, and just, uh... <laughs> heading to our original destination. Um, I basically just read a lot feeling a little weird because I was reading about simulation theory. So we're heading up into the mountains, I think that one, and hopefully we will find what we're looking for, okay? This is so wild because the day that I came here last time, it was on a day of really bad air pollution and I had no idea. You can see Seoul Tower over there. You can see Lotte Tower. Look at how crisp that mountain is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna be walking for a while. It's gonna be a hike, but somewhere in these uh, trees is allegedly a resting center at least it cooled off the i mean knock on wood the sun is behind 
a cloud right now. And actually, I think this is a fabulous time to say thank you to Native for keeping me not stinky as I <laughs> climb this mountain. Native is a deodorant company. I've used them for years. Paraben, aluminum, and cruelty-free, and they're vegan. Um, they have a plastic-free option, which is made of paperboard, and they have wonderful scents. I am a lilac and white tea lady today, but I also like cucumber mint. And normally, three plastic-free deodorants would be $39, but using my code, link down below, uh, you can get 33% off, so it will be $26. And you can use my code CarrieCakes9. So thank you so much to Native. Really putting you to the test today. <laughs> Halfway there, there's a really cool library up here. I'll link that video down below. I still can't believe I had no idea that you could see, where are you? Seoul Tower from here. Because the air quality was so bad the day that I came. <laughs> thank you, Native, down below. I will continue, is that? A spider web. Ooh, God. Okay, okay. I will continue on my path. <laughs> I've reached the end of the stairs, I think. So who knows, moment of truth. I jokingly to that guy I met on the subway I jokingly was like if you never hear from me again it's because I got lost in the woods what if I actually got lost in the woods now I'm walking down stairs <laughs> so I guess I just had to make it up to the fortress wall I'm not showing you my face because I probably look like a tomato but <sighs> downhill feels nice well, it smells amazing Maybe not tomorrow. Next week, I'm gonna find you. Mark my words. <laughs> I feel defeated, sweaty. I think honestly, like it was up there. Maybe I just went the wrong way or the map told me. Like I was going the right way on the map, but maybe my map was wrong. I don't know, but I'm too shaky to go back up those stairs. I saw a girl walk up there casually, like dressed like me, like fully, like skirt. What a bummer. Like I literally planned this whole video around going there. It looks beautiful. I even brought a separate book to read. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm so sweaty too. Like I don't even want to go in a cafe because I'm covered in sweat. That's life, my friends. Sometimes you're doused in sweat and lost in a forest. All right, I'm going to figure out my next move. <laughs> Basil toast um, and watermelon juice really revived me, but my body is just so tired. So I was thinking of taking us to, I'm so sorry about the wind. Um, I was thinking of taking us to Doksu Palace, but I'm actually just gonna start heading over to Soul Soup because I made a reservation to go to that museum. <laughs> and it's in Soul Soup, it's not here. So um, I'm going to head there now, <laughs> okay? Bye. I'm sorry, I'm not making sense. I'm literally delirious, but... <laughs>
I'm crashing hard, my friends. I'm going home. I'm going to take a shower. See you then. Oh my god, I can't even form sentences. <laughs> Hello, my lovely people. <laughs> it is the next day, and um, I am sore. I feel every single one of those stairs, my calves. Yeah, today I was actually thinking of filming and going to some places and stuff, but I just kind of decided that I've been filming actively every single day for like the past two weeks especially working on this breakdown and stuff so i just kind of want to give my voice a break my face a break because i've just been making so many crazy facial expressions i just feel like my body has kind of my body is just kind of feeling like let's take it slow today so i'm actually going to go to the movies kurt has a dinner meeting so i'm going to it's it's only it's like three o'clock um, so I'm going to go over to Coex and go see Elvis. Surprisingly, it's not playing in that many places. I thought that it did quite well in the US and normally those movies tend to make their way over here, but I guess like Elvis isn't as big of a thing and etc. So I don't know, I thought Baz Luhrmann, eh, whatever. So anyway, it's been quite difficult to find a time to go see um, and it's in the small theaters. So. Anyway, I got a seat. It's not my fave. It's like over to the side in the front, but we deal. Um, so I'm going to type up the book recommendations uh, before I head over there. And then, yeah, I'm going to go see Elvis, but this is my break day. So if I don't say hello to you later, see you on Friday, possibly. Okay. Hope you're doing really well. Let me know. I've been kind of in a rut in terms of movies. I know there's a Korean film that just came out that's apparently quite good. I will put it here. Um, but one of my friends who has impeccable taste in film um, has seen it twice already in theaters. So yeah, I maybe we'll go see that. I don't know, but let me know what you're watching lately. Oo Young Woo has been really interesting. I was a little nervous about how um, autism would be handled. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm, I especially like the parts where Oo Young Woo actually just like talks kind of about the history of autism i'm only on episode now we're on episode five but you know talking about dr asperger and stuff like that and and bringing those up and talking about yeah i don't know i think um those kind of like discussions that section is is really interesting so let me know if you're watching it uh what you think but it's doing so well in korea like the viewership is massively high and uh, i gotta get to typing because I've got to go to the movies. So anyway, see you at Coex. Who wrote this? I want your handwriting as a font. Oh my God.
this shirt is heavy with how wet it is. Um, I feel refreshed. <laughs> Hi, it's the next day. We're gonna go to a cafe to read and hopefully finish the book that I'm reading. I'll see you guys at the cafe. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm checking in on it's August now. Oh my gosh. So I started this vlog at the end of July. Welcome to August. It's August 2nd. I'm not gonna get my revenge. <laughs> I was planning on going back to climb in Wangsan and find that damn place in the mountains for you, but it's gonna rain. I'll show you. We are entering like a new rainy season. 90% chance of rain for the foreseeable future and um Last night we had the most insane lightning I've ever seen in my life. Guess I'm not going for a hike. I was thinking of like taking you to a cafe or two or something like that, but I realized that I did a lot of that in this vlog and I feel like this is just a constant conversation I'm having with myself in my brain, but still trying to figure out like what exactly I want to do when I'm not actively traveling and I'm just sitting at home. What is the point of my content and i'm not saying that like the stuff that i make is pointless i'm just i would like to have a better idea in my mind of like what i'm trying to do and so just kind of constantly going to cafes i enjoy doing it i enjoy sharing it with you but at the end of the day sometimes it just makes me feel kind of empty so i guess i i don't really know what i am doing with this video it's like a blessing in disguise when i take a break and i have more time it's almost like i use my time less wisely and so i end up again Again, kind of like confused with my content if that makes sense but September oh my god the second this rain stops the second it gets a little bit cooler I have so many trips planned I'm very excited I'm also going to America which I think I said already but that like all my tickets are booked and everything I'm set to go I just kind of need to sludge through the rest of August and then I know that I'm gonna you know be really excited to create stuff again. I am still doing my Korean class. It's going really well. I think that we've hit like this good understanding of like what is my level and how can she push me above that. Funny enough, I'm learning like stuff that I I learned certain grammar forms, for example, in my year of Korean or just like my self study, but she mentions certain little details cuz Korean has like for example, a million different ways that you can say because because I did this this happened. There's a million different ways to say because it like totally changes the context of your sentence um, and I was always very confused by that but because we're taking the time to like just one class at a time handling one little new piece of grammar she's really explaining why I would choose that one grammar form. I think it's really overwhelming for language learners coming in from like for example English going into Korean where grammar completely changes the tone um, and there's just so many different grammar forms like so many different future yeah I'm just I'm happy with learning feeling iffy about Uyangu as the drama progresses honestly the first three episodes I thought were really great and really well handled but I'm on what is it like nine episode nine at this point Mm -mm. So just to update my thoughts on it, feeling very nervous about it. Anyway, I am probably going to end the vlog here actually. I feel like um, me filming anything else would be, I wouldn't feel super happy with it. So I have um, something else planned for the next video. So I think I can just like end this here and then I can happily freely start filming the next one because I'm I have way too much going on already. I need to stop one of these projects. So thank you again to Native for sponsoring this. Um, you can use my code CarrieCakes9. Link will be down below, all that info. You can get 33% off of your order of three plastic-free deodorant. But yeah, I just hope that you're 
all doing well um staying happy oh and as you're watching this this is one of the last days to get your hands on my skincare box you've got a toner and essence my favorite face wash of all time everyone who has ever tried it has said that they loved it so much and will never go back that green tea enzyme powder wash yeah you will also get my favorite moisturizer my favorite mask and then two freebies 45 percent off free shipping and then after your purchase you will get a 20 percent off coupon for your next purchase really good deal link will be down below i love you wish trend Mwah. okay i'm going to go back to reading if you guys have ever read strange the dreamer i am about to finish the duology so thoughts and prayers please because right now things are heating up and i don't know what's gonna happen so um yeah i will see you guys next time we're gonna meet up with some friends next week i'm gonna try some recipes that i haven't ever tried and then next next week we're going to the middle of nowhere to live on an apple farm okay anyway just thank you always for being here for listening for giving me a little bit of your day um i so greatly appreciate it like i think just seeing people in real life at that book event thing just really reminded me how much i appreciate you guys like just how the little community that we built i just really yeah i'm so grateful um so just thank you again and i will catch you guys next time hopefully there will be pudding and no stairs in our future okay love you always Bye.